Hello. I'm Al. The elephant. I am traveling the world on a cruise ship. Elephants never forget and I'm going to go on an unforgettable journey with you. I will be on the serenade of the seas, going to Cozumel, Honduras, Belize, and Costa Maya. We left out of Tampa, Florida on the way to Cozumel. This is going to be the same ship that I will be on from December 2023 to September 2024. I got to be in room 9074, a balcony room. This isn't going to be the room I'll be in for nine months. It will be room 7006. Room 7006 was under maintenance for the week. I get to tour room 7006 later on in the week. But first, let's take a ship tour of the Serenade of the Seas. There is a total of 13 decks. This is the centrum in the middle of the ship, looking up all of those floors. This is my view from Deck 9. Look Guest Services. The next stop is the Schooner Bar. After I woke up at 4.30 a.m., I toured the ship. That's why it's dark outside and the ship looks empty. Wow! A gyroscopic self-leveling pool table on the ship. The Safari Club is located just past the Schooner Bar. There is a piano in the back corner of the Safari Club. In the centrum, there is a coffee shop called Latitudes. This is the Diamond Lounge for cruisers who have reached 80 cruise points and Diamond Plus cruisers who have reached 175 points. Royal Caribbean's next cruise area is where you can book your next cruise. This is the Internet Cafe to watch my videos. Just off the main dining room entrance is the card room. There are two floors to the main dining room. The staircase leads to the main dining room. There were two times when I ate at the Chops Grill. Adventure Ocean for the littlest of cruisers. Okay, time to go outside. There are four swimming pools on the Serenade of the Seas. There is the main pool with two hot tubs, an indoor-outdoor pool in the spa solarium also with hot tubs. Then there is the children's kiddie pool with the kiddie water slide in the splash zone. Among other things, I played putt-putt golf at sea and climbed a rock climbing wall. Look at all the great staff I got to meet. It would be great to see them again on the world cruise. In honor of veterans and first responders, I attended a ceremony. I finally got to see room 7006 where I get to live for nine months. Could you do it? Could you pack in this closet and those drawers for nine months? I can only bring on three pieces of luggage. The following is a small sample of the entertainment that was provided during the week.
There were a lot of pictures taken, of course. I never get tired of that blue ocean. Here are some of the excursions I did. They were so much fun. My day was spent touring Cozumel. In Honduras, I went zip lining. Safety first. We. Oui. Look a sloth. There was a small zoo next to the zip lines. This was our driver for the day. He was so nice. After the zip lines, we stopped at a candy factory. A cave tubing trip was a highlight of my Belize trip. I had to go a mile into the jungle to get to the caves. We were walked through the river by our guides in intertubes connected to each other. They were part of the ceiling. It's believed that because of our earthquake that occurred millions of years ago. That was my friends, is our Diamonds International. After we got out of the cave system, we coasted down the river for about 15 to 20 minutes. From Belize, we went to Costa Maya. Since I was there just a few months ago, I just hung out at the port. They are ready now, so please let's give them a big round of applause to support and motivate the flyers. Originally, the flyers' outfit wore costumes elaborated with bird feathers. Due to the conquest, the attire has been changing because of the Spanish influence. Since there were so many clouds on this cruise, I only saw this sunrise and sunset. Fog blanketed Tampa as our cruise ship arrived. Thank you so much for watching. See you on my next adventure.